there's one interesting question over here, uh, which is not exactly related over here, but uh, it's a fun question. Let's do, do this. Uh, I have a take on this as well. So people often talk about Web3 being a bubble. It won't sustain. So what's your take on this? Um, that's kind of, that, that language is kind of odd. Like crypto um, is probably more related to a bubble. Web3, um, and this is probably a really good topic to talk about, is mm -hmm. like Web3 is not a bubble um, because Web3 is, is not, Web3 not equal to crypto. Um, Web3 is like a cell file or you, it's it's a lot of things. Like you own your data. You, you, you're, it's like your, your wallet is your identity. Um, lots of like concepts that I'm not going to go too deep into because I don't have it all in front of me. But mm -hmm. um, so the question is, Web3 is not going to go anywhere. People are going to eventually learn that it's important that they own their own money and they own their own data. Like if you're talking about like the like i don't really too often talk about crypto prices or whether that's a bubble or not i kind of more like and i could be wrong so this is just one person's opinion so keep that in mind but like this is very similar to like what you're gonna see what happened with the dot-com boom lots of money flew in lots of like things everybody thought they needed a website and this and that very few made it um and like i hope that that's not the case but like it's likely that some of these early stage protocols that don't really gain the traction are going to go away. Do I think Web3 is in a bubble? No. Do I think crypto is in a bubble? I think everything's in a bubble um, in general. Like like we, we've all seen the stock markets lately. So these are just markets. And um, yeah, it, it, it's really hard like to decipher exactly what that comment meant. But like that's kind of my take on it. Yeah, exactly. And it's actually about the tech. It's actually about the idea behind the tech and the things actually are progressing in a certain way. Definitely a lot of money is flowing into the ecosystem and a lot of companies are coming over, which uh, might not be so evidently justified to a lot of people for sure. But that's how an ecosystem grows. And if you see uh, like the uh, dot com bubble was the perfect example. Everything is a dot com, and not everything sustains. But that which sustains rose up to change the world out there uh, for the next generation. So I think as well the Web three world is going to be the same in that sense. And also sometimes uh, when the technology comes along, the um, it's too early for the mainstream. You know, like we talk about the metaverse and all these things, and like and Facebook switching over to Meta, which may or may not be a good idea, but like the metaverse doesn't even exist yet. Nobody can even describe what that actually is. Like it's right. hypothetically, yes, um, but like there is no, a, a true metaverse would allow anybody from anywhere to plug into this place where everything is connected. And like right now it's just a bunch of fragmented metaverses and like nobody's really clear on that. So you can be too early and like, mm -hmm. and some things might be too early. Um, or some things might be too late. Maybe. And actually in the gaming industry, it's pretty huge right now.